Hey guys, hope you're doing really, really well. Um, it's been a busy week since I uh, got back, back, back to work um, from my trip from the USA. Um, got yeah, it's just it's. I did a video this time last week, um, and yeah, this is my first, real first opportunity. I tried to record one last night, um, but yeah, I was just exhausted, and it all just turned into some rambling and. It ended up being about 25 or 30 minutes of me just dribbling crap, so I decided to just start fresh. I took some notes about what I wanted to talk about. Um, this being my celebration, sort of recap video being my first Star Wars celebration. I just wanted to go through the day's events and uh, yeah, just very briefly. And so I took some notes, so I've got them on my trusty iPhone. So um, I'm just gonna consult that uh, just as I talk to you guys. And um, just, just, yeah. Just wanted to pick through my notes and uh yeah just just talk about star wars celebration and how much i enjoyed it because i had an absolute blast and uh yeah it's just it's i've wanted to talk talk about it all week i've just been um so exhausted going back to work after a month off um it's been it's been good though i'm i'm really happy to be back at work i work with a bunch of awesome guys um that are all around my age so it's i don't hate my job um at all i actually quite enjoy it as hard as it is that's very hard work but uh yeah it's worth it anyway enough about that so um i guess we flew into orlando we got into orlando um on the wednesday morning so that would have been the the 12th must have been the 12th um because the convention went from the 13th to the 16th so yeah, it would have been the 12th so we sort of flew into Orlando and, you know, we were on a pretty, pretty big, um, adrenaline kick. So we just, you know, we looked around the, looked around the area and, um, we went over to the convention center sort of mid afternoon, early afternoon, um, to try and get our lanyards and t-shirts and, uh, got to meet Owen. No, uh, that was awesome. Uh, Counter Freak 7 here on YouTube. Um, really great dude. Um, it was an absolute pleasure meeting up with him. Um, and we got to hang out over the course of the whole weekend, so that was awesome. Um, really good dude. Um, so he gave me some badges, and we talked for a few minutes, and then um, yeah, unfortunately they hadn't, they weren't organised enough, and they didn't have all the t-shirts and lanyards yet. So we had to wait um, until that night, later that night. So you know, we spent a bit of time. We went and hung out at the hotel, um, got food, looked around again, looked around a little bit more, went out to a shopping center yada 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 um roger roger there's my phone um and then we sort of just uh then we went down to for uh, for dinner we, we i can't remember what we did for dinner anyway we went to the rebel force radio bash um that was a lot of fun that was a great show um great time got to meet jason and jimmy which was fun uh, i've been been listening to those guys for don't know how many years now you know but be well over five years I'd, I'd guess so it was awesome to finally meet those guys and uh yeah they had they put on a really good show so that was a lot of fun and we sort of decided we'd sort of go and line up to watch the last jedi panel and uh sorry not the last Jedi, the 40th anniversary panel um we sort of reserved ourselves to the fact that we may not get into the live stage and you know it was we would be happy to go into one of the streaming rooms or the other stages where they'd stream it on a on a screen so we thought we'd have some fun and go and line up anyway and uh so we did we got there we managed to go and get our t-shirts and badges and not badges but our lanyards and all the other fun bits and pieces we got the commemorative guide to celebration and all those bits and pieces so we went and found our spot in line um made a couple of friends in line had a chat with a few guys that were just they just couldn't believe that we'd come all the way from Australia to go to Celebration. So they were just super impressed and they wanted to know everything. And they were, they were really good, really good people to me. And um, yeah, it was, made, made some good friends who bumped into over the weekend as well. And unfortunately didn't get any of them contact information. So it was something I'll do next time is talking to people, just like trade social media, whatever. And um, hopefully stay in contact with some of them. So again it was all a learning experience so hung out at night met up with owen again and uh went and found uh corey and nabil so it was awesome to meet those two dudes so we hung out and chatted with them for a while um 
we got it to be an announcement saying that everyone in the room was going to get into the live stage so we were just completely blown away then about eight o'clock they started handing out tickets um, the wristbands in the morning and they didn't have enough so we got filtered into the into the other stage with the the live stream but you know what it was fine we were disappointed we'd been hyped up and built up this all this hype to get into the live stage and then then we got knocked back down a tier so we were pretty pretty upset and we were just exhausted we'd been up for 30 odd hours or something 36 hours by the time the panel actually started and um it will just that exhausted we just whatever so we watched the panel um <clears throat> yeah it was that was an amazing panel um uh, unfortunately we would have loved to have been there in that live room and see everything happen but you know what the camera shows you exactly what you need to see so they did a great job of the uh, of the stream and just the whole the whole thing to end uh, Carrie's daughter came out Billy she came out and did her bit and that was amazing and then the camera pans over and John Williams comes out and you know what there was not a dry eye in the house and it just it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it now I'm like playing Princess Leia's theme that just moved me beyond anything it was that was incredible and the Carrie Fisher tribute itself was just it was it was beautiful um that was yeah it was really emotional but uh it's really emotional just thinking about it now but uh yeah it was awesome on the way out they handed out the carrie fisher posters um you know the the numbered posters i did share it in my last video um and i got a little bit bummed out because there were you know people were sort of walking out and realizing that they weren't getting a poster and you know the staff were trying to keep everything as civil as possible and just hand out posters to the people as they were walking out but there were people walking backwards into the crowd and trying to snatch the posters out of the people's hands and that was just disgusting um so i was pretty appalled about that and you know it was just you know you're always going to get those people that are just they're, they're always going to let you down somehow so try not to let it bother us too much we got we got ours and uh we were really really appreciative that we were able to get one so um look i'm going to be trying to frame that up over the weekend hopefully and put it on a wall um it's just a beautiful poster and you know to have people trying to fight over them and just to sell them on ebay like this there's, there's tons of on ebay now for like 100 bucks and was, you got a free poster like give it give it to someone who wants it if you don't want it but uh it's not the way it works unfortunately so you know we went and wandered the floor after that we were like i said we we're exhausted by the time the panel finished we were probably we'd probably been awake for close to 40 hours like it was with a few hours sleep in between on flights but you know 40 hours is a long time to be awake i haven't done that since i was you know 19 20 years old um fueled by alcohol <laughs> and the need to party um but yeah just, it's it's hard so we decided we get, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try and line up for the last jedi panel so we just cruised the floor for a little while on the on the last on the afternoon of the thursday went and got my photo with uh hayden christensen he was super humble and you know he was just an absolute gent um which was fantastic to meet him you know just to say thank you hayden and you know shook his hand and you know it was it was good and i think he was just he just generally felt like he was he was really happy to be there amongst the fans and i think he was probably a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of people that had come to see him see him because um at the stage when i got my photo with him he was already 45 minutes over his photo schedule um and people lining up for his autograph had to wait a lot longer so i think he was generally over overwhelmed and you know he's probably exhausted too but that was just super exciting so you know we went back to the hotel on the last day of the thursday and decided we'd get a good sleep um we slept for 14 hours <laughs> that's it so we needed it we needed it we slept for 14 hours straight we skipped dinner and we got up felt bright refreshed had a nice shower had some breakfast ready to go and hit day two um so now i'll hit over to friday so you know we went we went straight to the vendor floor we um we got their doors open about 10 o'clock so we thought we had an, we had an hour to wander around until the the panel was going to be streamed and we thought we'd just find a screen 
So, you know, the, the vendor floor was really easy to get around. I uh, managed to pick up a few things. Um, so that was, that was good. That was a lot of fun. Uh, just easily just look through all the vendors and, you know, I picked up some vintage figures and other bits and pieces. So that was fun. Um, uh, so I just need to add something in. So yeah, we went to the, uh, the, the Star Wars show stage and watched the last Jedi panel from there. Um, the sound wasn't perfect. We sort of, everyone was reasonably well, well mannered and kept quiet so we could all hear it. Because this, this just the way the speakers were pointed, it was sort of, the speakers were pointed and it wasn't getting anywhere outside of that sort of trajectory. Um, but we got it and, uh, got to see the trailer and that was just, man, that's, that's a good trailer. And there goes the dog. So yeah, <laughs> we got to watch the trailer. That was super exciting. Um, went and watched it again at the Think Geek booth. Um, it was pretty much chucked online straight away. So the people at Think Geek, uh... We're watching it on their iPad, so they let me lean over the lean over the desk and watch it on their iPad. So that was fun. Um, so yeah, we wandered the floor a little bit more. Um, went to the Hasbro booth. I wanted to check that out, and uh, you know they had a, they had two lines. They had a line up for people with tickets that had stayed up all night for the wristbands to get tickets to the um, to get the Hasbro exclusive, the X-wing look. Then they had another line with about seven or eight people in it, and that's for people without tickets that would filter into the line once the line had skipped forward for far enough. So obviously people hadn't jumped jumped in there straight away. So we managed to get in and out of the Hasbro line in about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and we got three of the X-Wing Lokes, one of them I've already given away. Um, and you know, while we're in line, we we're sort of messing back and forth with buddy Tyler, Bantha Pudum, and uh, he came up and met me and my girlfriend with his girlfriend. And uh, yeah, that was super exciting to meet Tyler. He's a really good dude. Um, hopefully we can catch up again in the, at the next one and you know, hang out a bit more. Um, so that was really cool. We managed to get the, so yeah, got a, got a photo with him. Um, well, he got the photo, I've got a, I saved a copy. Hope you don't mind Tyler. Um, uh, that was, so that was really cool. Um, just love meeting people. And uh, yeah, then as we came out of the Hasbro booth, uh, Fallen Jedi, who'd, who'd come to meet us um, with his mum. So got to meet Fallen Jedi. Um, he was there waiting for us as we came out of the Hasbro booth. And we spent the rest of the day day with him and his mum. And uh, they're just the, the kindest, loving people. Um, they're just fantastic. And I can't wait to spend spend time with them again next time we're in America. Hopefully we can make it over, over to Florida again. Because, um, yeah, we had an absolute blast for the rest of the day. Um, they bought us lunch. We just hung out and wandered around the vendor hall. Um, I picked up a few other bits and pieces and figures throughout the day. And, you know, we just had a great time looking around at everything. And really, we had to soak in everything on the floor that afternoon. So that was, that was Friday. Um, yeah, that was just a fantastic day. That was probably with a highlight, one of the highlights. Um, you know, me and... Me and me and Fallen Jedi have been in contact for, you know, quite a long time now. We catch up re regularly through Instagram, and you know we've got a we've got a shared addiction of Lego, which was, which you know it's awesome to chat to, chat to about, among other things like figures and just Star Wars, Walking Dead, everything. So he's a great friend, and um, yeah, it was truly an absolute. It was truly a pleasure to meet him, and his his mum was lovely too. So that was that was just an awesome bonus. So I'm um, just trying to think that night. Trying to think what we did. We went to Galactic Nights that night in at uh, Disney World, and that was a, just a fantastic evening. Um, Galactic Nights was just that just topped off an awesome day, and uh, yeah, we had an absolute blast. That was the first time out of Disney, uh, under the Disney parks. Um, that was at Hollywood Studios, and uh, you know. Got to go see a panel. It was just a short panel on the making of Rogue One. John Knoll and Alan Tudyk were there. Got high fives from both of those guys as they walked off the stage. We sat right down the front. So I got to high five Alan Tudyk and uh, yeah, John Knoll. So that was really cool. Then there was a motorcade with all the, a bunch of actors from Rebels and you know, Ray Park, Daniel Logan, Peter Mayhew. So I got a high five from Ray Park because they're not sitting in the car. They're not sitting in the motorcade. They're running along giving everyone high fives. 
So um, as you'd expect from Ray Park and Daniel Logan, they're just the coolest dudes. So got high fives from those two as well, which was really fun. That was just that was just a really cool night. We just had an absolute blast, and um, they'll never forget that. So, uh, so yeah, we we got the um, yeah we got home, got back to the hotel quite late that night. It was well worth it though. We got up on the Saturday. Now Saturday, my girlfriend got a tattoo. She got her when she went and got her tattoo. It took about four or four and a half hours, I think. Um, so she got an absolutely amazing piece on the back of her calf of uh, Han and Leia, and it said "I love you, I know." It was a big framed picture of them um, about to kiss. Um, it was just an absolutely amazing, amazing piece, and the artist did a really, really nice job. But um, got, I met Mark Hamill. Got my. Uh, photo with him in the morning, got my autograph with him later in the afternoon, met some more awesome people um, in the lines, went to McDonald's for lunch, I think, I'm pretty sure it was that day we went to McDonald's for lunch, we wandered down the road and, and uh, yeah, we're just finishing our food and getting up and getting ready to walk out and I hear my name, uh, my username, uh, someone who called out the force with Jesse, I turned around and uh, he introduced himself and gave him some badges. <laughs> I'm having a mental blank. I hope he watches this so he can remind me his name. I think it was Chad. Um, like I said, I met a lot of people and um, I, I, I just, I'm, I feel bad if I'm wrong. Um, I'm sorry, dude, if if you're watching and I got your name wrong. But uh, yeah, that was, that was just really cool. I just didn't expect anyone to sort of just, I wasn't expecting it like someone to just, oh, I recognize you from YouTube. Was, that's so, that's That was awesome. I guess a Star Wars convention is the place for it. Um, yeah, while my girlfriend was getting a tattoo, no, that must have, oh, I must have been another day or whatever. Um, yeah, so while she's getting a tattoo, I was running around, bumped into Owen again, and, uh, he told me Fly Guy was working at the, uh, at the Dorkside booth. He was helping the Dorkside guys out. So I went over there and finally met Fly Guy. Um, it took both of us a trip for uh, the other side of the bloody world to do it, but we finally caught up. Um, so that was, that was fun. He was, he was really busy. So I sort of left into his business and, uh, yeah, we're going to try and catch up soon for a chat on, uh, he wants to get me on boring conversation anyway. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, went and got the Hot Wheels exclusive, uh, the Big Star Glider car. Garrick Hagen, who played Big Star Glider, he was standing there signing them. And just as I was about five people in the line, uh, he, he had to go and do, do his official signings for tops. So I missed out on that, but that was cool. I still got the car, which was awesome. Um, went and wandered around again, bought some more stuff, hung out with uh, Owen and James for a little while. Um, awesome to meet James as well. He's a good good dude. Um, so we, uh, we hung out. Where am I? Just looking at my notes, trying to refresh my memory. Uh, well, I went to, went back to the Hasbro booth again, and Stephen Hayford, that does all the Black Series artwork, like I showed you the poster, he was uh, signing, so signing and giving away some older prints. So I grabbed one of them, and you know that was that was super awesome. I was going to go and buy a print from him anyway, because I love I love his work and it's inspirational and all that sort of stuff. So that was awesome. He's a good dude. Um, yeah, went out to dinner that night with Owen and James. We went to a to a pub and it was a great night and had a beer and just chatted Star Wars and that was that was good times. Um, so then Sunday, the last day, we 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 got over there nice and early. I wanted to try and get the the Thrawn, the Thrawn exclusive book. Um, we'd failed every other day to try and to try and grab it. And by the time we got got there that morning, they they had completely sold out nationwide of the of the uh, any exclusives um, for that weekend. Um, so, so they had they had a couple of massive stacks of the standard white cover, which I thought was cool anyway. So I just grabbed it. Grabbed a couple other books and other bits and pieces. I went and picked up the Samurai Vader, the Tamashi Nations uh, movie realization Vader that I showed in my video, my my whole video. So that was cool. And then I went and got my tattoo, and that was pretty much the rest of my day. Um, that took a lot longer than I expected. It took about four and a half, five hours. Um, but I'm super, super impressed with it. For those who haven't seen it yet, it's hopefully showing up on camera there. It 
So yeah, that's my tattoo. Um, so yeah, I have still had a couple of autographs to get at the end of the day. Um, so the doors were going to close at five o'clock and my tattoo finished at about 20 past four. Um, so I sent my girlfriend off and uh, to go and jump in line for Ray Park or Sam Witwer. And we were both, we, by the time I got down there, we were both turned away with about half an hour to go. Um, so we were both turned away and I missed out on Ray and Sam's autographs, which was, you know, that was a really disappointing and we were quite peeved that um, they turned us away before five o'clock. Um, so we had to go and get refunds. And, you know, we had to line up for refunds because there were other people that missed out as well. So we had to go line up for refunds. And by the time got the refund um, and gone through, if I had just jumped in line with, if I if they had to let me jump in line with for, for Ray Park's line, I would have had my autograph and been gone. So that was a that was just a bit of a bummer way to end it. And, you know, five o'clock, they made the call. The convention is now closed. That's it. Done, dusted, turned the lights off started ripping the place apart and it was you know it was just a little bit of a oh that's it that's it's done I'm like they basically it was almost like all right time's up get out um so that was a bit of a bummer way to end the end the convention but you know overall had an amazing weekend met some fantastic people um yeah it was you know friends that I've had for years on YouTube and on online I've, I've met up with and you know hopefully they'll be friends for a lot long for a long time coming and spend some time with them again and you know we're, we're looking to go back to California at least um, next year um, as a lot of you know I got engaged I proposed to my girlfriend over in when we're in Disney World which is a few days later um, and of course she said yes, which was very exciting. Um, so that was, that was, that was, you know, that was incredible. And so we're, we're planning on getting married, um, hopefully early next year. And we want to take a trip over to California for a couple of weeks for our honeymoon. Um, assuming affordability and all that is, is working for us. Um, but yeah, we've we've both worked really hard to get over there, and we're going to continue working really hard to get over there again. And you know, we want to we want to do what we want to do, and we want to spend money doing doing things that make us happy. And you know, we had an amazing time, and we'll go back to celebration in 2019, no matter where it is. So, um, and we'll, we it was a learning experience, so we'll do things very differently next time. Um, try and keep it more about the more about the people I think the friends making the friends and hanging out with friends and not worrying so much about the panels that then get put online anyway so you know we get to sit back and watch and we might go and see something different some smaller panels like I want to go to collective panels next time we didn't get to see any anything else so next time I hope to do that and go you know meet other people and all the extra fun stuff so either way had a blast celebration just it's like Star Wars heaven, really. Um, if I if I was to die, I want to die and go to celebration. <laughs> oh, no, that's really that's really a bit sick and twisted, but it's not because it's celebration, and you know I've got memories there that will um, last life, uh, last a lifetime, and uh, yeah, some good friends that I'll be happy to reminisce about for a long time. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it went a little bit long, so, so I appreciate you sitting through it if you have. Um, drop a comment below if you want to talk, if you want to chat some Star Wars Celebration. Any questions or anything, I'll be happy to answer. And uh, yeah, I've got, got so many videos planned, I've got to, I've got to buckle down and record some. So well, lots, to, lots, to, lots to review and talk about and lots of bits and pieces. So anyway, guys, thank you very much again for watching. And until my next video, may the force be with you.